Hello and welcome to our next reflection. Today we want to focus on various crises that we go through in our daily life uh, and try to see them as opportunities for growth. Uh, remember what our Christian faith teaches us, uh, that the Lord does everything for our good. And therefore, a moment of struggle, a moment of difficulty, where the cross that the Lord allows us to share in, allows us to carry, seems very difficult, that's an opportunity for a bigger growth for us. Uh, and so we cannot escape the various crises we go through. But what we can do is change how we approach them and how we deal with each one as it comes. And so crises can, can come in our relationship with God, in our prayer life. Uh, crises can come in our various relationships with other people. Uh, and we ourselves can experience a crisis within our own being. We can become frustrated, we can become disillusioned, uh, and life seems meaningless. Life then becomes uh, quite difficult, challenging, and for some even unbearable. So it's important for us to recognize that. It's important to recognize that these happen uh, but let us not run away from them. Uh, a common example is that whenever people experience that deep inner crisis, whatever it is, sometimes uh, to deal with various frustrations or disillusionments uh, that we experience, uh, people throw themselves into work, uh, into achieving things, uh, somehow thinking or living under the illusion that life is about achieving things, getting things done serving other people. Uh, and sometimes some of us may lose ourselves in the pursuit of that, you know, creating a name for ourselves, leaving a mark behind us, uh, making sure that our legacy lives on. Uh, these are various common expressions that we can use to describe what's taking place. Uh, but often that's running away from the change that really needs to take place and the real growth within us. Uh, because what we are asked to do is to grow, uh, is to make that deep inner spiritual journey, to actually discover that life is not about achieving things. Uh, it's not about having more possessions. It's not about having more money. It's not about gaining more degrees to your name. Uh, it's not about any of these things. These things are not important. They have a value in our life, uh, but they're not essential for us. Uh, and so deep inner growth uh, helps us to realize these things. Uh, deep inner growth helps us to leave those things to the Lord. Uh, you know, like St. Francis of Assisi, to become really poor. Uh, to realize that all I have is a gift given to me by the Lord. All I can share with you is a gift given to me by the Lord. It's not mine. I can't own it. Uh, as St. Francis would put it, I can't appropriate it to myself. I can't describe it to myself as though this belongs to me. Uh, and therefore, those crises can be opportunities where we actually learn to let go we actually learn to become free, where we actually face the truth and the reality that it's all God's gift. We can't grasp it, uh, and we can't buy it, we can't achieve it. Uh, we have to receive it, and that's a big difference in our daily life. Uh, so don't be afraid of these feelings, that's why we talked about it in our earlier sessions about the importance of listening to yourself, paying attention. Uh, what is my crisis? What is disturbing me? Uh, what is the Lord asking me to do and to change? And more often than not, uh, it is about that inner spiritual growth. It's not about doing something on the outside, uh, building something new. It's about learning to appreciate what is there already, what the Lord wants me to acknowledge about myself, about my life. 
And so in order to go through each crisis, it's important to have a meaning uh, to my life. We have been blessed with the faith in Christ, uh, where his death, his way of the cross, uh, has added value to each of our crosses, each of those crises along the way. Because each crisis is a call to grow deeper, to enter into a more intimate relationship with the Lord, to hand things over to him. And so the meaning of the words and the invitation of Jesus, take up your cross and follow me. Take it up daily. The Lord is promising us a share in his cross daily. So we don't really have to go in search for it. Uh, it's already there. And that means that if we stop, if we reflect more deeply, we will actually recognize it. Yes, there are things that are weighing me down, that are difficult, uh, that are a struggle. No one wants to let go of anything. So it can be painful. You know, even if we lose a little smallest of prized possessions, uh, we experience the hurt, the pain, the sadness, the disappointment. Uh, so let alone when we talk about the, really the important things in our life, the most essential ones, then we can see how much pain there can be uh, when we want to truly take up our cross daily and follow him. And to take up our cross means not to run away from it. And so if I experience uh, depression, a sense of meaninglessness in my life, of frustration, all those uh, emotions that make life difficult, I am not to run away from them. To take up your cross means to face them, to listen to what the Lord is telling me. Because each of them will contain a message for me. Uh, when we talked about listening to our feelings, you know, when you are afraid, for example, uh, the fear will lead me always back to the Lord to seek safety, to seek refuge. And so sometimes we run away from the fear, uh, but we fail to look at it positively, saying, well, it's because I am afraid I am looking for refuge. Uh, I am looking for someone who will protect me, and that someone ultimately is always God. If I am angry, if I am bitter about something, well, who do I go to to be my strength? Ultimately, it is God who will defend me. It, was God, it is God who will look after me. If I discover the power within myself uh, that we mentioned in our previous session as well, then I will not need to look for power in different places, because I know it comes to me from God. And so I will be free of many power struggles that go on daily, in my family, uh, in uh, the fraternity, wherever you are in your workplace, everyone's looking to come out on top. Everyone is searching for something. And the point is, I don't have to. If my power comes from God, I don't need to involve myself in all this silliness that sometimes we do in our daily life. And so I can step back from it and not engage with all this. But all of this comes to us uh, from taking up our daily cross, from realizing and learning from crises. And so the question is, how do I approach the cross? For example, the cross that we are all under lockdown during these days? Do I see it as an opportunity for growth, for developing something, maybe the way I communicate within my family? Uh, maybe coming to terms with some of those things, some of those crises in my life that I always pushed to one side and want, didn't want to even look at them. Uh, can I accept this cross? The church is closed. I know many people struggle with this uh, notion that this shouldn't be like this. But the point is, can I accept it? 
do I take up my cross daily and follow the Lord? Because the Lord is the one who chooses those crosses for us. Uh, it's not for us. If we choose the cross, then we would make life as comfortable and as easy for ourselves as we could. Uh, so it's important to realize every aspect of my life is taken up in that mystery. Uh, and everything has meaning. Uh, and once I have meaning for my life, it makes a big difference to me when I wake up and face another day. Because I have a purpose for this. And everything I will experience when I look back, I will discover another meaning, another lesson for me. Uh, so let's pray for one another as we continue this journey uh, to affirm one another, encourage each other, uh, because we will all make two steps forward, one step back, and that's part of the journey, but also part of the cross. Uh, so don't give up, uh, but carry on. Uh, and ask the Lord to help you to understand where is this cross in my life? What am I running away from? Help me, Lord, to accept it and to carry it. God bless you.